Tēnātātou katoa, good evening. Four tornadoes have hit New Zealand in just the past three days, and there is a warning of more to come. The swirling winds have brought down trees and lifted roofs, but incredibly, just one person has been injured. Since Sunday, tornadoes have ripped through parts of Auckland, Waitara, Paraparaumu, and the Tasman district. In Upper Muteri, near Nelson, homes are still being assessed for damage. Alexa Cook has more. The terrifying tornado has definitely left its mark, splintering mature pine trees into kindling, obliterating an orchard and ruining homes. We were standing at the window there and then we just see this funnel of cloud or wind and what have you and there was just stuff flying through the air. Seriously, it was like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Heavy stuff like trees, roofs and trampolines. This thing is coming towards us and it's like, holy shit, what do we do? But we were lucky, it actually passed by us, just came through the sound of a, a freight train. The tornado was so powerful it carted olive trees and roofing iron two kilometres away to Wayne Picard's lawn. He's feeling lucky to be alive. If it had been another 100 metres this way, then we probably wouldn't be here. So, yeah, because the trees would have caused massive damage. Wow, so you're counting yourself pretty lucky. Yes, yeah, oh yeah, I think we're still in shock actually. The large trees almost claimed a life. There's a car uh, squashed with a, one of those big pine trees um, near the bottom and luckily I think they missed the person inside and they were able to get out, so yeah, that's pretty scary. At the moment there's been no injuries reported officially. Uh, we've had some close calls though with iron and bits and pieces floating around and the fact that no one's got hurt as a result of this is a real credit to the resilience of the community. A community and a landscape now scarred by the tornado's 200 metre wide, three and a half kilometre long trail of destruction. This is the direct path the tornado took. It snapped all these apple trees off at the base and flung them across the orchard. Wiping out about 20% of Thorley Orchard's crops. We estimate that we've lost about four hectares uh, and there's another four or five uh, that we're, we're not really sure we're Still uh, surveying. It's devastating, but that's just how it goes in this business. But Aaron Thorley's worried it'll hit him deep in the pocket. We've been talking to our insurer, but um, no, we're not 100% not sure whether we're going to be covered on this or not. About 70 houses have been hit, 22 of them are seriously damaged, and some were red stickered today. The red stickers is because the houses are structurally unsound and not safe to live in, so there's a few of those. Um, I understand they're still doing the assessments, but I, I'm aware of one at this stage. More than 3,000 lightning strikes lit up the Nelson skies on Monday. Almost 40,000 strikes were recorded across the country, an active weather pattern with warm and humid air, providing the power for four tornadoes in just three days. It is unusual, it's not unheard of. We average about seven to 10 moderate to strong tornadoes per year across Aotearoa, New Zealand. So Mother Nature might have a few more in store for 2023. Oh, kia ora, Alexa. Can you tell us what kind of support is on offer for those affected by the Tasman tornado? Well, Sam, the council is still on the ground assessing exactly what people need and where. There is emergency accommodation available and also the Motueka Hotel is offering free rooms to those affected by the tornado. There's also the Rural Support Trust. They can help people like farmers and growers. And the council has just given me some updated figures. They say that two homes have been red-stickered, which means they're deemed unsafe to re-enter, and six homes have been yellow-stickered at this stage, and that means there might be some conditions attached to whether people can go home or not. Now the council is entering its recovery phase and it's urging everyone or anyone that needs any help to call them because they want to help get people back on their feet as quickly as possible. Alexa, thank you for that update. A teenager is in hospital this evening after a tornado ripped through his sleep out in Paraparaumu. One of the first responders says it's really lucky no one died. The twister hit the Kapiti Coast town at around 5am. About 15 homes have been affected. And as William Tariti reports, that number may climb. The security footage shows the moment a tornado swept through Paraparaumu early this morning. And its almighty force was enough to rattle a few nerves. I've never felt or experienced anything in my life being so close to death. I've never seen my son so scared in his life. Almost pissed myself. It was really scary. 
By daylight, the trail of destruction was obvious. Broken fences, ripped out trees and torn up roofs all strewn across properties and streets. Several homes were damaged, including Moira Bryce's home. She's been forced to temporarily leave her home after it was lifted off its foundations. It's really shocking. <laughs> like, this is the kind of thing that you know happens to people, but you never expect to be the family that it happens to. A 16-year-old is also lucky to be alive after his sleepout collapsed on top of him. His father was too upset to speak on camera but showed us the damage. His son is still in hospital with moderate injuries, though it could have been much worse. Very lucky there's been no deaths here. It could easily have gone the other way. Fire and emergency crews have been out conducting welfare checks this morning, speaking to affected residents, assessing the damage to properties and even picking up the pieces that have been left behind by the tornado. A big mess that will require a huge clean-up and recovery effort from a community still reeling. Well, it's a harrowing situation that's happening here for our local residents. We've got a couple of properties that are very significantly damaged. The extent of that damage is still being assessed. William joins us now. Kia ora, William. And you've got an update on the teenager injured in the sleepout. That's right, I've just heard from the 16-year-old teenager's mother. She's at Wellington Hospital with her son. She told me that earlier today he was taken into surgery and that's because a piece of the cabin that he was in got lodged inside his chest and it actually, well, it got and pierced his lungs. She tells me he's doing OK now and he is out of surgery. But this just goes to show the sheer nature and force of these destructive tornadoes. And it's not over yet. There are still a number of severe thunderstorm warnings in place for the North Island, from Northland right through to Taranaki. And with that, that could bring through more tornadoes. So people should ultimately be prepared for it. William Tiriti, live from Wellington, Tanakwe.